Welcome to this video tutorial for creating a data chart with Infragistic Xamarin Forms. In this video tutorial, you should already have set up your computer for working with Xamarin Forms, including Android, iOS, and Windows Phone platforms. You should have created a new blank app project in Visual Studio using Xamarin Forms portable template, and your application should be targeting Xamarin Forms version 1.3.5.6335 6335 or later. And you should have already watched the tutorial for getting started with Infragistic Xamarin Forms. First, we need to add a new Xamarin Forms XAML page and set it as the main page of the portable project. Therefore, we right click on the project, select Add New Item, and then select Xamarin Forms XAML Page Template. We'll change the name to Chart Page and click the OK button. Now we change the main page property of the application in the app.cs file to the newly created Chart Page. In the XAML page, we need to add Infragistics namespace declarations for Charts Assembly and the local application. Note that we will also need local namespaces because we will create an instance of data sources that will be implemented in this application. The next step is to add an Infragistics data chart to the XAML page by changing the content of this page to an instance of data chart control. Now, we need to add category x-axis and numeric y-axis to the axes collection of the data chart. Note that the item source property on category x-axis is set to context binding of the chart, and this axis has a label property mapped to the data column named date. I'll go over and explain in detail the process of data binding later. Next, we need to add a financial price series to the series collection of the data chart control. Note that the item source property on the series is also set to context binding of the chart. In addition, this series has x-axis property set to category x-axis and y-axis property set to numeric y-axis that we created in the previous step. By default, the financial price series requires four data columns in order to render open, high, low, and close values of financial candlestick. The next step is to set the data source on the binding context property of the data chart. Now we need to implement our data source for the data chart. I've already created a data source by implementing two class models. The financial data item class represents a single item of financial data, and the financial data list class represents a list of financial data items that have randomly generated values for stock volume and stock prices. In order to explain how data binding works in the data chart control, I created a class diagram. So we have financial data item class with six data columns, five numeric for stock values and one string data column for storing date values. The financial data list implements ienumerable interface and that is the key to map the item source of category X axis and financial price series. Both of these item source properties are of type I enumerable. So any class that implements this interface and contains data items can be mapped to the data chart. Note that each series should have appropriate data mappings. In this case, financial price series requires four numeric data columns for open, high, low, and close. In addition, category x-axis must have one data column mapped for the axis labels. At this point, we can run this application 
and for simplicity reasons, I'm going to build and run only the Windows Phone application. In a few seconds, the Windows Phone emulator will load our application. Here we have the Infragistics data chart with financial price series. On the horizontal axis, we have Category X axis with labels mapped to dates. And on the vertical axis, we have Numeric Y axis with values corresponding to open, high, low, and close values of financial data. So there you go, a simple app demonstrating how to create and bind financial data to data chart controls. I've also included a link below to download the solution so you can play and change the data source for the Infragistics data chart. Thanks for watching.